In the days of the old, there was an island called the Kinshasa Island, inhabited by pretty dancers and a wild warrior king, whose rules and regulations ate all. Thou shalt not eat the forbidden fruit. Queen Sasha, the lioness of the jungle, King Sasha Island, land of beauty. King Sasha, what a wonderland. We are the dancers of King Sasha Kingdom. King Sasha, what a wonderland. We are the dancers of King Sasha Kingdom. We are lovely, we are so sweet. obvious you don't want to live here today. Our initial agreement was for you to get there, Defecate. Get to that place, let's check if we can catch something today. And you just went there and disappeared. My brother, if you see what I saw over there, what did you, you would not be saying these words. I saw two pretty damsels. I have never seen them ever in my life. Can you listen to how a joke you were? How would you be seeing two pretty girls in a hunting bush? That's the most confusing thing, my brother. Because the moment they set their eyes on me, they ran off. I have never seen such beauty ever in my life. Are you sure you did not take any intoxicating fruit in that forest? How would you be telling me such beautiful girl in? Mumba. I told you, right? Remember you told me you had a dream this morning? Yes, I did. Have you seen where it has landed you to? Your dreams, your thoughts, they are your reality. Mumba, this is not a dream. I know what I'm talking about. I saw two pretty damsels. 
This is not Luqua, the lady in my dream. I saw them look at me. And I looked at them too. Two pretty sweet damsels. There is a word called hallucination, my friend. That is what you're passing through right now. Very soon, just but very soon, you tell me. I see him there. I see that there. I see you start seeing spirits physically. What is happening? I left my weapons here, my bow. Maybe you're also dreaming. Are you out of your mind? Or you've lost your senses? What, what, what is dreaming? Calm down, brother. I was only joking. On a second thought, I think it's the girls. They are trying to play fast one on us. Zulu, your gaze are correct. Which means we're trapped. We just have to leave this bush. Without your hunting weapons? You sound as though we have an option. We don't have an option, do we? But tomorrow, we'll come back to this bush and hunt. We will not go to that supposed bush beside Legaza. We'll come back to this place, we'll see to the end of it. That would be a good idea, brother. Let's go. want to do do not start what you cannot finish What did you shoot at? I was dreaming, my brother. I did not know when my hand hit the trigger. You know one thing, it never ceases to amaze me. We came here to look for these girls. And you were busy, sleeping, up to the point of firing a gun. What kind of a dream is that? As if you knew I was dreaming about it. 
My brother, I was in a romantic mood with one of the girls. I was just about to touch her breast when the gun went off. Zulu, you are a fool. I am no you fool. You are a fool. I am no fool. I know what I'm talking about. I would have left you to wander alone in this bush just because I saw them. They are very beautiful. Built to behold. I told you, you saw them? You saw them? I knew it! I knew I saw them! I knew I saw those girls! But the truth matter is that I'm not leaving this bush unless they give me back my weapon. Did they confirm that they're with your weapon? Mm -hmm. Mumba, did you talk to them? Did you kiss them? I was one inch close to meeting up with them, catching them. Your stupid useless gun went off. Try More of that. My brother, don't worry. We will catch them. We will meet up with them. Let's go, please. Oh, that was very close. Very close. I don't understand. Where are they coming out from? The last time, it was a different person. And now this? One thing, one thing, one thing. One thing is common with both of them. And what could that be? They are handsome. You are funny. We have to be very careful. They might be dangerous. You're right. I think the next time we come across them, we'll have to report them to the Queen. Yes. But for now, we have to leave this place. Right. Let's go. Becky! Becky! Shani, did you hear the sound? The queen wants everyone back to the abode. Wake up before you start dreaming again. So those girls didn't come out today. We need to actually go hunting before we leave this bush without a catch today again. So what do we do after hunting? We'll go home. Go home? Yes. Just like that? What else are we going to do? is that of love love yes. yes our love for you people is made by the gods the gods yes the gods yes i dreamt of this day 
before we set our eyes on you. Pretty queens. <laughs> he called us queens. <laughs> you are more than queens. You are fresh. You're beautiful. You're just like, you're so fragile, like a freshly laid egg by the queen hen. If loving you is a crime, we don't mind going through the consequences. We adore and cherish you too. Wow. <laughs> what am I seeing? <laughs> Who are you, Kratos, and what do you want here? <laughs> Beautiful warrior of this kingdom. We are friends. We are not enemies. Please. Please. Permit them to come back. Please. Please! They're beautiful. We're one inch close. We're very close. One inch close. What a kingdom! You look beautiful themselves! We will see to the end of this! Yes! Yes, my friend! We will see to the end of this! Yes, my friend! You felt it also? Yes! What a touch! I was feeling so sweet all over my body that I never wanted him to stop. Oh, the feeling was so sweet. It was wonderful. Ah, everyone in Kinshasa Island should experience it. I'll tell Venusa. So, you welcome to other creatures here. They even touched your bodies. The queen must hear it. Why must the queen hear it? Let me tell you, Shani. If you experience what we're talking about, you will know that you've been in bondage and needs freedom. How? Do you know? Those creatures worshipped us, treated us like a newborn baby. Mm -hmm. They said we are beautiful. I even called us queens. Mm -hmm. Unlike Saka. Saka doesn't see these qualities in King Sasa themselves. He just takes us by force. When the queen commands and when she needs multiplication. So, you need to know love. You need to feel love. You need to test love. <laughs> Tuza, how do those intruders penetrate through the island gates without our knowledge? My dear, I'm sure they did not enter through the island gates. If not, my eagle eyes would have seen them for us to apprehend them. Oh. So that means Queen Sasha security effect is not active or doesn't work in covering other parts of the island? It does. But only acts when the visitor is in for war or violence. You know, this island is like every other forest created by the Creator. Every living thing is free to walk in and out, to and fro. At once, all the risk. You have a point. So, meaning, if any visitor comes in through the gates, we face the panel. Sure. Because we are answerable to the queen. Mm. I wish I had my own empire. <laughs> then work for it. You are soft. Very sweet. Making me high like an intoxicating drink. Zulu, you've brought sweetness to my world. You make me feel like a woman. Are you sure? your sweetness. Please don't miss this opportunity. Mumba, why? Zulu, what is wrong with you? Are you not a homosexual? 
Mumbai, I was almost entering into her kingdom before you pushed me off. Dream, who are you talking about? I must come back with that maiden. I must come back to this our kingdom with that maiden. Else I would remain in that bush. Truth to be told, I fell in love with that girl I was playing with. But the possibilities of coming back to this kingdom with them, it's very unclear. Because no one knows if they're a trap. I don't care if it's a trap. I do not care if it's a trap. I would remain trapped in that bush. Because therein lies my heart desire. Zulu, if I am able to come back with that beautiful girl, if I am able to come back with her, I will quit the hunting career. I will say goodbye to hunting. Because by then, I would know that I've come to the zenith of that career. You know, that beauty to behold. Gorgeous. Hmm. Majestic in all appearances. You know, I will be so fulfilled hunting such a beauty. That's true. We must set forth tomorrow. But when we go, we shall go with food because I'm not sure that we would come back here tomorrow. There is something we've neglected greatly and we fail to analyze the risk involved in this journey. Think, Zillow. Think, my friend. You speak wise words, my brother. Speaking of risk, who was that beautiful maiden that came out from nowhere and scared them off? Mm -hmm. Zulu, that forest has a lot of secrets. Mm. But tomorrow will be great unveiling. Light on my brother. Tomorrow will take for yourself. to mingle with any other creature except for Saka which she uses for multiplications. Oh. Now I see why Mesa Tosca, the queen's head maid, gave us those instructions. King Sasha Kingdom belongs to the queen and the queen alone. Our queen is a jealous one. A warrior but nice to be with. Whatever you want, she will give to you and make you comfortable. But don't play with her rules and regulations. Do not eat the forbidden fruit, for it's for Saka alone. And it is meant for the multiplication purposes in order to add beautiful damsels to our kingdom if the opposite sex is produced our queen sends them to picato but if damsels are produced our queen keeps them for the kingdom our queen trains some of the damsels as warriors some 
for the multiplication of beautiful damsels. And who is this Saka? Saka is a strong man. <laughs> by the queen in a battle. Queen of Kinsasha Island, why do you trouble the dead that is sleeping? Because there shall be no other hero than the lioness of Kinsasha Island. Meaning what? Any stubborn grass that tries to shoot up must be cut down. <laughs> you are just a woman that supposed to urinate. So, are you talking to me from your mouth or from your anus? Because I know women oppressed with so many openings. Your mouth is for feeding and talking. While your anus is for defecating. The other one is for multiplication and for. So which one are you oppressing with? Then you shall become my multiplication and for kiss mm. for insulting the lioness of Kinshasa Island. You are, you are talking to Saka. No one ever does with me and goes go free. The crab swam the big ocean and finally ends up in the pot of a woman. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up you! Shut up you! <laughs> <laughs> Multiplication purposes. But at times, the queen sends ripe damsels to go to Pokos and make him happy and active. Because the opposite sex can't do without us. Else, they may die out of frustration and become inactive like a vegetable eaten by the sun. Oh. oh, pretty damn sir, you've come my nails down. Lie down and let us perform the multiplication ritual. 
Have you felt the gift of nature before? No. But I have to do it because the queen commanded me to do so. Else, I'll be thrown into Picardo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She wants to use us for multiplication purposes. And when you give back to many children and guests week, she will send you away because you are not physical of no value. According to Mesa Tosa, you will give birth as many times as she wishes. And after that, she will take you to Campola where you will be forever. All she wants are young and pretty maidens like us to be worshipping her. But Venusa, what is that forbidden fruit and where is it planted in this island? She didn't make mention of it or where it is. go in search of the forbidden fruits and why do you want to go in search of it to glance at it to know how it looks like if possible have a taste of it have a taste of it yes after all the instruction from mesa tosca that is an abomination for one to taste from this forbidden fruit she also said that anyone that have a taste of that fruit will be wise yes you're right but the fact is that even if we see the fruit we'll not be able to identify it because we've not seen it before I really need to have a taste of this fruit. Mezeba, yes, you go alone. We do have gifts for you. Gifts? Yes, we brought fruits for you. Thanks. <laughs> you do not need to thank us. You both are watered. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll definitely share this with our sisters. Our friends from the outside world. What are your names? My name is Reke. And I'm Teki. Beautiful names. <laughs> My name is Zulu and I am Mumba. To be honest with you people, you are quite beautiful. <laughs> Indeed a beauty to behold. Let me tell you something, I have not ceased to imagine what both of you are doing in the bush. If you come to Zuma Kingdom, where will you come from? Your worth quite immeasurable. Really? Yes. Well, the queen owns us. A queen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not even a man. Anyway, we'll talk about your queen some other time. But for now, 
you mind if we play with you both? We don't mind. Um, we actually like you people. Recky, right? Yes, we do. Good then. In that case. I dream it now. No, 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 you're not a dreamer. <laughs> that girl was so sweet. I know. It was just like a dream. Yeah. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. <laughs> you know what? Tell me. I just can't wait to take my own queen back to our kingdom. These girls laid emphasis on the impossibility of taking them to our kingdom unless we conquer their owner. Mumba, Zulu, you speak like a feeble man. What is wrong with you? You think we cannot conquer a woman? Hmm. If we had time to make love to them, you don't think we will also be able to conquer their owner? Mm, 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 mm. You have a point. I even told the girl about it. She said that um, it will not be possible today. Okay. But next time, by then they must have preferred. Right. Chai! Chai! <laughs> Today was a very good day. It was a great day. My brother, I am very high. Mm. I feel like touching the sky. Please, calm down, calm down, brother. Ha! Calm down. Mumba! Let's, Let's go before you fly off. Mumba! <laughs> so, this is what we've been missing. Love. We are beautiful. We are slaves in our kingdom. While in the outside world, we are cherished, valued, loved, and even seen as queens. <laughs> you are so right. My body is still very sweet. I can't wait to be in his arms again. I wish they would be able to break the protocol. I'll gladly follow them to the outside world and feel loved forever. Indeed. 
Love covers all things. Yes, it does. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. It was a madman that stole your bow. <laughs> Obviously. Because I even asked Reke about it and she said she knows nothing about the bow. That don't even come out from the bush. <laughs> Let's go get it. <laughs> I don't think there's any need for that. Besides, the bow is even 40. <laughs> How can a hunter leave his bow for a madman? <laughs> madman! Give us that bow now. It's ours. Look at this madman. Give you what? My weapon? It's our weapon and not yours. Get out of my sight, you dreamer. Go and hold on to your dream. Dream big and make it big. <laughs> This could be the forbidden fruit. I am not eating. Who said this is the forbidden fruit? Anyway, Mr. Tosca didn't mention the fruit to us. So even if it's this one, we are not guilty because she didn't show us the fruit. Hmm. Where did you girls get this sweet fruit from? Because I know we do not have this in this island. Hmm. This is really sweet. There is something more sweeter than this fruit that you all are missing. And what could that be? Shani is a warrior. She doesn't need it. What is it that's sweeter than the fruit you all are eating? I would like to have a taste of it. Oreki, is it that thing you told me? Yes, Venusa. You are missing a lot. <coughs> Greetings, Mr. Tosca. Pretty damsels of Kinsasha Island. Thank you. How are you all today? We are fine, thank you. Shani. You and others should leave. Or do you want to be amongst the multiplication ones? Sorry, we are leaving. Pretty girls, it is Mr. Tosca. Some of you have eaten the forbidden fruit and become wise. According to the queen who sees and observes everything in her island through her instinct, who are the ones? Mr. Tosca, all of them ate the fruit except me. It's Reiki and Teki that gave it to them, and it's even remaining. Where are the remaining ones? Sweet. Do I take all? Yes, take all. Thank you. Ah, uh -uh, Mr. Tosca. I thought you said it's unlawful to eat the forbidden fruit. It is unlawful and abominable in Kinsasha Island. And anyone that breaks the law shall not go unpunished. But this is not the forbidden fruit. Vanessa, you're missing. Because you are the only one not eating this fruit. Hmm, Mr. Tosca, where is this forbidden fruit and how does it look like? 
Susiko? Yes, sir. What was the instruction? That we should eat from every other fruit in the island, but the one at the middle of the bush we shouldn't eat from. And it is for whom? For Saka alone when we arrive. Good answer. Now listen carefully, everyone. Every part of your body is the bush. And it is a property of the coin. But you see that part in the middle that you see as your private part is for Saka. And it is used to control his temper and for multiplication when the island needs more pretty themselves. So when an ugly child is born, is thrown into the evil forest. So that which is in between your laps is for Saka and shouldn't be tampered by any other opposite sex. That is the forbidden fruit. From the day after tomorrow, the queen will be visiting every department in this island and those that have committed this offense shall be punished. Teki, thanks for the fruit. I do not understand if there's something in the bodies of those girls. But since we made love to them, nothing else comes to my brain other than Teki. My brother, you sound as though you're the only one in this illusion. But one question comes to mind. Is it actually love? or a web, a trap of infatuation. We'll see to the end of this. Thank you. Hello, Tara. Have you served the real one? No, Tara. I've been waiting with some trouble. But you know it's your turn. I know, but you can still help me with them if I'm not fit to around you. Good for you. Thank you. I have to go now. The people are sent Zulu, my whole body goes on fire. You don't even know what happens to me each time I think about Mumba. Hmm? I feel sweet all over my body. Eh? <laughs> oh. Greetings, sisters. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine. What of Venusa? She's sleeping. <laughs> sisters, what are you two going to Gaba the Queen? Call me to punish you tomorrow. <laughs> Vandalin. I am ready to be punished over and again because I will keep committing this enjoyment they call offense. Teki, please, I want to taste this forbidden food. They really opened your eyes. Eh? I don't care about the outcome. Don't worry. Just that I can't share my Zulu with anybody. And I won't share mine either. But don't worry. I'll tell Mumba to get someone for your request. Thank you so much. Do you know, I can't wait to join this fun and knowledge you both have been enjoying. I am so happy. They are too excited. Even more than we are.
Today will be tough in this kingdom. Why? Why? <laughs> After celebrating the queen, she will take Teki and Reiki to Kento for punishment, of course. <laughs> oh, that. Reiki and Teki don't even care about that. They are ready for the punishment, of course. You need to see the way they brag about their abominable acts. Oh, yes. They enjoy what they did. They said they are willing to commit the same sin and receive more punishment for it. Okay. I want to taste these forbidden fruits. Yes! I want to have a taste of it! Go back. Pretty queens. We come in peace. Young men, return to where you're coming from. For no creature is allowed in or out of this kingdom. Beautiful creatures. We have only but peace. We are friends to this kingdom. Yes. Please allow us passage. The mighty queen, the unbeatable, and the lioness of Kinshasa Island steps into the kingdom to be adored today. Now leave. The kingdom lions have been unleashed for the queen's security. Go! I said go before they devour both of you. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? The gods have saved us today. Indeed, they have. My question is, where are the lions coming from? There is something about this kingdom that we do not know I've seen. Definitely. You are right. And why is it happening today that we did not come with our weapons? Our negligence indeed. Our negligence. Love. Love is a very strong thing, my brother. You're right, Zulu the Great. Love is magical. Love.
girls of Kinsasha Island. Oscar. Oh hail the Queen of Kinsasha Island. Long live the Queen. After the celebration, the Queen will attend to those many things that is on ground that neither me nor you girls know about. And she will handle those that have defaulted her others. All hail the Queen of Kinsasha Island. Long live the Queen. Shut up your mouth.
So this is what has become of you. Now tell me, did you do it? You mean you allowed those intruders touch you? Despite all I told you. You are stubborn as a mother. I am disappointed in you. So despite all I told you. You went ahead and disobeyed the Queen's order, thereby putting your life at risk. Caesar, do you know we're always at risk whenever the Queen is at the square to be celebrated? What could be the risk? We leave our duty post to celebrate the Queen. And then, the enemies could come in at that time to capture all of us. You know what? It's not possible. Even before we leave our duty post, to the square or to go and eat, the island security lion has already been unleashed. Even the queen's mystic security effect has been activated. That's her confidence. But it's still risky. Because you don't know the enemy's strategy. And their weights. My dear, no matter the kind of security we put on, on this island, the creator still has a final say. That's just it. Does it mean we will not be able to see our loved ones again? We can't give up now. After all, we've been through a lot already. Mumbai has stolen my heart, and I am no more of this island. It's Ida Zulu or no one else. I must see to the end of this love story. If we ever leave this place, we must go in search of our lovers. Sure, we must. The Queen has pardoned you both. You are free to leave. Sasha, we greet you, Mesa. Mesa. What else of King Sasha? We, we greet you, Mesa. The instruction from the Queen is that every nook and cranny of this island must be tightened up. The Queen is a fighter, just like you and I, and we do not take defeat. What did I say? We don't take defeat. So be strong, flexible, and ready for attack. And also be prepared always. 
What did I say? Be prepared always. What did I say? Be prepared always. Clap for her. That is the word in action. If she wasn't prepared, would she have caught it? No. no. Good. Our kingdom is loosened. Creatures penetrate into it and walk away without being caught. Mm. It is not a good one. It is never a good news when the fox enters into the roost of the fowl and say, Good evening, my dear friend. The queen wants us to buckle up. Now, your spares. Yes, Sarah. I just feel like being among the multiplication ones. Why? Do you think they are the best? Yes. They are always pampered. They don't do anything. Only looking good and sexy. Looking good and sexy for Saka? Do you know they feel the same way you are feeling? They wish to be workers like us and not for multiplication papers and Saka's satisfaction. Really? Yes, of course. I'm feeling Mumba. <clears throat> We're just prisoners and slaves. One is not even allowed to follow her heart. I am willing to die for this word called love. And what is so special about those intruders? He who feels it, knows it. And he who tastes honey, must surely want to have another taste. Mm -hmm. A snake seen by one person is a cobra. So, I am not doubting these feelings of yours. But our advice, you look before you look. Because he who trades in dark has to be cheated. Yes, we are sure we can swim. So we are ready to dive into the ocean. I can see. You both are really ready to swim this deep ocean of love. We are. We are. <laughs> that 
Reiki and Reiki spirits are no more on this island. They are now wild. But you already know, eating the forbidden fruits makes one wise and increase in wisdom. So how special is that one detested? Reiki said is not what is gotten from Saka. Mm. Then I'm thinking of having a test. Hmm? Melanie? Yes. Kenza, I feel like sleeping. When you are aware that the security department of Kinsasha Island neither sleeps nor slumber. But we are human, not beast. That is why you are a warrior. Warriors are always at last, agile, and ever ready to answer a battle call and not sleeping. But we have the island lions. I know. But they do not reason like the way humans reason, and they may go against the rules of Queen Sasha. If given the opportunity to be on guard always, like we do. I wish I could be given the opportunity. I will change the department. And which department would you work to change you to? Workers? No. They are almost like us. But I would have loved to change to multiplication ones. Sampe! Yes. And Saka will use you in calming his nerves. And um, don't worry, don't worry, I will not worry. <laughs> Confused about what? How Queen Sasha was able to keep Saka in that open place she calls Cage, yet he doesn't move around, he doesn't step out, he's just there like a sheep looking after by a shepherd. That's to show how powerful the queen is. Saka is not tied in a cage but held by a mystic power. How? Do you know that each time he tries to leave that arena, a smoke he felt pushes him back? Mr. Tuska told me everything I needed to know about Saka. Hmm. Queen Sasha. Do you wish to be like her? I don't think I can. <laughs> Why do you think so? She's just a woman that's close to urinate like us. Yes, I know. But all animals are equal. And there are some animals that are more equal than others. Like the queen? to get to Pocos Hill, we will escape. We've already made up our mind to take the risk. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whatever we encounter, we'll take it in good faith. Yeah. You're really in love like me. Yes, we share yeah. the same feelings. And I'll do anything for love. 
We're together. Don't worry. Let's go. My queen, you sent for me. Yes. But you delayed. Sorry, my queen. I decided to reach you myself. Lioness of Kinsasha, is there any problem? Tell Shani to unleash the lions. Some damsels wants to escape. Yes, my queen. We are close to the hill. We will soon be free. Yes. Free to be in the arms of our loved ones. How do we locate them? Ha! Love works with instincts. Once we leave this kingdom, we will find them. Yeah. Ah! Don't you think we are more important in this island than the workers, the multiplication ones, even Kusa and Mela? Why do you think so? Because we are the island security. Their lives are in our hands. We can even capture the queen. Sampe. Yes. Wake up. What is it? I mean you should wake up from your dream. Or are you hungry? Why all these questions? It is obvious that your brain is reversing backward. I mean, how can you say you are protecting the queen's strong aides who are training you? <laughs> and you're here talking about capturing the queen who is almost like a god. I mean, you should know by now she must have heard you by her instincts. Um, I didn't say anything. Ah. Sisters, you're looking worried. Like, I'm even on my way to your usual place. We decided to change position today. Anyway, have you reached your friends for my sake? Is that why you are monitoring our movement? What suits us may not suit you. We are all women. We have the same thing. I believe I will enjoy it the way you enjoyed it. Vandaline, don't worry yourself. You will definitely have a taste of it when the time is right. And when shall it be? 
Mila, to tell you the truth, if I'm in the position of these girls, I won't agree to be given to Saka for fun and multiplication purposes. Honestly. Kusa, you have a point. But they don't have an option. They don't. If it was Zuba, who was very handsome and young, they would like and enjoy him. Yes. His product is... Mm. Sweet damsels. But he was overused and he died. Which man would do such job and wouldn't die? The queen gives him three girls daily. And he was stupid for sleeping with them like that. As if it was food. He thought he was having fun. <laughs> you know men. He was enjoying it. <laughs> Is there anything you're lacking in this kingdom? No, but why can't we have a choice of what we want? Well, you have a queen who is capable of taking care of you. So why worry yourself? Mr. Tosca, we need to be free just like the birds in the sky. Yes, they have nests. They gather on trees to sing and chat. Yet they go out to see the beauty of nature and visit the tree of their choices. And the birds are also captured by a child who wants them for food or for fun. And that makes the best unhappy. So what are you insinuating? Can't we be giving the chance to choose the opposite sex of our choice? No. We have the phobia of being taken to Saka. So, have you been sent there to calm his nerves before? But from the stories we've heard, it's something one wouldn't want to experience. Well, you have no option than the queen's choice. I think it's time for us to fight for our rights and stand for our freedom. How? And freedom from what, if I may ask? Freedom of living our own choice of lives. Yes. That is right. But how do we achieve that? By saying no to the decisions of the Queen. And won't we be seen as rebels and also be dealt with? It is better to be seen as rebels than to live in bondage forever. Think about it.
What makes Shani stronger than us? She is not the strongest amongst us. Just that she's close to the queen. Hmm. Warriors. If given an opportunity to fight, I, Melanie, I'll defeat her in the contest. Now, let me explain to you all. Shani is not just a warrior. Shani possesses some mysterious power given to her by the queen. She's also in charge of the island lions. Shani possesses some powers that can only be observed during war or battle. That means Shani is stronger than us. In a way, but not physical. But, why did the queen channel her mystic powers to Shani alone? Because the queen does not want to abuse the powers. You see what I was telling you? Tosca has confirmed it. These girls are becoming wise. Yes. Because the ones that tested the forbidden fruit out of love and not by force have opened their eyes. It may not be easy for the queen this time, despite the security. But it is our duty to protect the kingdom. And we will not let that happen. But if look into the situation, you will know that what we are doing is not good. <laughs> Greetings, Greetings Shani. Shani. Greetings. Pushing the girls against their wish. <laughs> Kusa, are you not trying to betray the thing? No, not at all. Damsels of King Sasha Kingdom. Greetings, Mesatosa. You all are looking very pretty today. Thank you, Mesatosa. In a few days' time, after our usual dance and praise to the Queen, some of you will be sent to Saka for multiplication purposes. So that many more pretty damsels will be produced to fill the kingdom. That is the message from the queen. The king sent one to such punishment. I heard vent of blood throughout the day. Saka handled her. Huh. That is the only way Saka will be calmed down of his anger. He goes furious whenever he remembers that he is being captured by a woman and kept in bondage. <sighs> this is no school. This, this is no just good at all. My dear Mesida. When it comes to King Sasha Island, we are left with no option. I wish we can escape Venusa. To where? And how? I don't really blame Seki and Reiki for their actions. The queen wants to turn us to baby makers. And keeping one for a particular opposite sex of their choice. Saka. But why can't we be warriors like her? They're sending us to Saka. I feel like escaping from this island.
Susa, I thank the gods I'm not among the multiplication ones. I cannot imagine myself being trapped in that pocus. With Saka for days. And not only that, I let her take him to Akaso for a good nine months of not coming out. Mm. And after you give birth, you'll be sent to Zula to keep reproducing until you are weak. They finally become waste and later used to feed the kingdom security lions. Mm. I feel for them. They feel for us too. How? For the risk we take as warriors, of course. You're right. Tosca said the queen plans to host all the King Sasha dancers after the dance. Mm. Well, that means there will be a lot to drink and to eat. Yes, of course. <laughs> Greetings, sister. Pretty. Pretty, you're welcome. Thank you, sister. Same thing. The island chief cook said I should inform you people that the food is ready. Wow. I see she knows that I'm hungry. Okay, sisters, let me reach others. Okay, well, I'll be there. Okay, sister.
no doubt they're going to take us to Pokos. Everyone knows we'll be the first to be sent to Saka. And this time around is not to calm his nerves, but to be used by him until they achieve their results. Huh. You're here to take us? No. I am here to help both of you. But on one condition. What condition? That any gift your visitor brings must be handed over to me. Deal? Deal? Yes. But how will they come in? Considering the fact that the security is very tight. I control the lions and other warriors. I am also in charge of the entrance gate. If loving her is dead, I'd rather not live again. The madman told me, Zulu the Great, follow your heart, and that I will do. If a man follows his heart desire, he is not on the wrong path of life. I need no caution. That is for sure. No retreat! No surrender! For the sake of love, we embark on this mission! And we shall go! And return with our heart desires! Yes! Hmm. This is so lovely. They promise to bring us more gifts if we agree to go with them. They also want to take us to their abode forever. Really? Yes. Do you want that? But our only challenge is the Queen. I'm ready to break any protocol just to get my heart desire. Love is real. Yes, it is. Give way. for this meeting. I called for the meeting because Shani asked me to keep the gates open today. I tried to find out her reasons but she didn't give me a listening ear. But we were asked to tighten up the security. Why opening the gates? That is why I summoned you all. Any punishment meant for it, we are all going to be affected. For me, I don't have any problem with any of this. Since it's Shani that passed the information, she's the one the queen uses to pass any security information. You are right. Maybe the Queen is expecting some visitors. I will not want them to be embarrassed. Let us relax and calm our nerves. If there is any danger, the Queen knows how to alert us or send us to the battleground. Mila. Yes, Queen Sasha. Kusa. The lioness of the island. The battle line is drawn. Go to Loto and apprehend the intruders and bring them before me immediately. Intruders. Alert, Shani, and the other warriors. We respect, respect you. Are you sure of what you just said? Yes. We love you people and we are ready to go with you. But only if you'll be able to break the protocol and jump the obstacles we encounter. What obstacles are you talking about? We are hunters. We are not feeble men. We have our gun. We have our machete. We'll overcome anything to take you to our kingdom where you'll be valued. But the queen is a great warrior and a mystic woman. She captured Saka 
the great warrior of the upper castle and enslaved him for herself. The kingdom has female warriors and they're very good. I think wisdom should be applied. Take it for your love, I will encounter any situation or obstacle. That's correct. I think your people should go. It's better you leave. Please. Take it, I would not leave. <laughs> Leaving you was like betraying the love that I have for you. I will encounter any situation that comes your way. I will! You ain't to that! <laughs> Reaping where you did not sow. You desecrated our abode, broke our rules and protocols. You don't have fear. You want to take away the damn cells we are grooming for Saka. To where you came from. They deserve their freedom. Yes, they do. And they will get that freedom. You will not hold them again against their will. We will apprehend you like Saka. And you will be used for our kingdom multiplication. Since what you want is sex. I do not want sex. I cherish Teki. And I want her for the rest of my life. SHUT UP! to have you forever wasn't an easy one. I know. But well, you finally caught me. <laughs> Come to me, my love. Let me feel the warmth of your body. Azazi? What did you dream of? I fought to take a lady home from a kingdom governed by a woman. 
She kept this maiden and so many other maidens captive for her own selfish interest. Especially for a man named Saka. I lost my very good friend in that battle. But a lady helped me. But she was later apprehended. It's a very funny dream. I'm really confused about it. I think I need to go see Zuma so he can interpret this dream for me. But I can interpret it. Azazi, when did you become a seer? From what you just narrated, it's a simple one. How is that? The dream you saw is about you and I. You are confusing me. You succeeded in the spiritual world. And that means you will succeed in the physical. How? The kingdom you saw is our village. And the queen you battled with is my mother. Hmm. Since she doesn't want you to marry me, you will not marry him. What mother? He's the only person I love. What do you know about love? What? I gave birth to you, so I know what I'm talking about. And Saka is Suki, whom my mother wants me to marry. You are betrothed to Soki. The prince of Kuala. And he you shall marry. Now, remember all this. I see no other person but you, Asazi. And I cannot wait. In fact, I will do everything until you become my wife. No matter what happens. My love for you is like a burning grass. But no amount of water can quench it. My queen. She is still seeing Zulu. Prince Soki. Azazi is my daughter. And I will choose where she will live. She is not going to live in any other man's house but in your house. Yes, she's yours and yours forever. My queen, your words give me confidence. But my coming to you doesn't mean I don't know what to do. Don't forget that I am a warrior. Mm -hmm. The prince of my kingdom. I will stand and fight for what belongs to me. <laughs> the fight is not yours because the battle is not your own but mine I am the queen of my kingdom yes I will fight let me take your word in strict confidence and the girl that helped you is my younger sister Nkona she is the only one that is supporting me to follow my heart and the person I love. Sister, you are the only one to live with whosoever you want to marry. Eh? I'm not mother. You see, that is exactly what I want mother to understand. But she's being too stubborn. Huh. Whatever thing at all I can do just to make sure you marry whom your heart desires, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Come there, come. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Wow. Azazi, you really interpreted this dream so well. I love you. I love you too. 
love conquers all obstacles. Yes, my love. And your dream shall come to pass. I really want this dream to come to pass. But it's just a dream. The madman in your dream told you to follow your dream. Yes. He did. That is the answer. Azazi, yes, I will not be able to thank the gods enough if you finally become my wife. Why are you a man of little feet? You will have given you my word. I know you have given me your word. So you still don't want to let my daughter be? No, da! Will you shut up? Young man, you want to cultivate in another man's land, eh? No. Mother, no! Mother, stop! Mother, And you are that is no! Mother, stop! Mother, stop! Azulu, don't worry. I'm going to get you every information you need, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. I have to go now. All right. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. You too. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. You're Be very careful. Thank you. Okay. Risk very, you. very. That's why I talk about her every day. I know. Where is Azazi? Don't tell me you are not aware of her movement. Huh? Mother, let her follow her heart's desire. She is old enough to make her choice. And love is not something you force on people. Lo lo <laughs> Zulu has just drawn the battle line. That which he stole, he must reap. Yes. Zulu wants me to throw my power on him as the prince. He wants to know what I'm capable of doing. Let him wait for me. My queen, I think Zulu is not the problem here, but your daughter. How? She loves him and not me. Your daughter and Kono said it yesterday. Let her marry whomsoever she loves. I'm done. But she loves him and not me. There are about four things about marriage. One, peace, happiness, joy, and above all, love. My prince. I'm please. done. Let her marry whosoever she wants. But you know that I tried my possible best. I know you tried, but let it. What you did is the best. Marriage is not what one manages. Without love, there's no marriage. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um. You know I will so much power. I will so much power that I could even have her, even against her wish. 
Besides, her mother is there to put every plan to work. Well, like you said, without love, there is no marriage. I concur. Even the one with love, you have problems. The queen is a woman. She doesn't know what you will face if you live with her daughter against her wish. A man with one wife do not judge a polygamous home mm. because he haven't tested it. Mm. You are a man. A man with one wife doesn't judge the polygamous home. <laughs> Go to your sister. You are the only one that knows where they are. Tell her and Zulu to come for their custom marriage. Ah! That's my mother! Yes, yes, mother, I'm going there right away! <laughs> So it's over. <laughs> go now. This really yeah. happened? Yes. She sent me to come and message you both. And well, the prince has given up on everything. You are the one my sister loves. <laughs> but you don't have to be surprised. Because you saw it before it came to pass. You come now. Yes, sister. I owe you a lot. Oh, don't worry. Your happiness is my happiness. That is our story. Did you like the story? Yes, Grandpa Zulu. Did you learn any lesson from this story? Yes, Grandpa Zulu. Can I see those who I've learned something from this story. Ah, everybody. All right, can you tell us? I liked the madman part. He said to you and Mumba, follow your dreams. The madman called you a madman. <laughs> and you? I like the music and the dance. Oh, that's good, the music and the dance. You? I, I learned that why you should remain focused on what he or she wants. That's good. And you? Parents should allow one to marry whoever they choose because marriage is not something you force someone into. Like Nkono told Grandma and Prince Soki. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Grandma, do you have anything to tell them? Grandma, do you have anything for them? My children, make sure you marry who you love. True love is like a burning fire that no amount of water can quench. We are living together and telling this story today because we love each other. Did you hear what Grandma said? Yes, yes Grandpa, Grandpa Zulu. Zulu. Tomorrow we shall all gather here and I will tell you another story. Eh? Meanwhile, Let's eat our food. Ooh, ooh, ooh.